Last night, the New York Rangers lost to the Winnipeg Jets by a final score of 4-1 to in Winnipeg. Let's break down some of the game. The only change for the Rangers tonight was Libor Hayek coming in for Zach Jones. I know a lot of people are questioning it. I really don't mind it at all. Libor Hayek rolled the bench last year. He never played a game, played only a dozen games or so. So I don't mind that he was able to play in a back-to-back -back against the Winnipeg Jets. Why not let it fly? It was the opening night and the first game of the season for the Winnipeg Jets. They had some energy going into this game early. And they were able to feed off the energy from the crowd as well. They had multiple opportunities in the first period. The story of the first period was Yaroslav Halak. The Jets get on the board thanks to Mark Shifley in the first period. A play where he dumped the puck at the red line. No icing was called. I thought there actually should have been an icing. Puck finds him in front of the net. He beats Halak, and it's 1-0 Winnipeg. The shots after the first period were 13-10 in favor of the Winnipeg Jets, but the Rangers controlled the second period. Shots at the end of the second period were 21-7, and Connor Hellebuck put on a show. He put on a show and was the reason the Winnipeg Jets won last night's game. Rangers projected goals was around four and a half. And Hellebuck had an incredible second period. The Rangers kind of got a taste of their own medicine. What it's like playing against Igor Shosurkin. So like I said, Hellebuck was the story. He was the reason why it was still 1-0 in the second period. I thought the Rangers played really good in the second period. They let out all of the rest of their energy. They couldn't bury a puck against Hellebuck. They're able to get one in the third period. Ryan Carpenter ends up leaving the game. He actually landed on an opposing player's skate. Cut his whole side of his head. We hope he's okay. No word of yet on his uh, update. Dryden Hunt ends up finding his way on that second line with Carpenter out because Carpenter could kill a penalty. Capo Caco had to kill a penalty. Every player essentially moved up and Dryden Hunt found himself on the second line. He ends up scoring a goal. It's a really good play by Panarin once again to find Dryden Hunt. And then later on in the third period, Sam Gagne gives the Winnipeg Jets the lead with around five minutes left to go in the third period. The Rangers ran out of gas. They weren't doing well on their own end the whole night, really. It's Sam Gagne getting his own rebound in front of the net. Yaroslav Halak did everything he could. It's 2-1 to one Winnipeg. Then just a few minutes later, Jacob Truba takes a delay of game penalty by shooting it over the glass the whole team looked exhausted by the third period they really let out all of their energy in the second it is what it is you move on it's game three you played three and four nights already so it's fine you take the loss you move on some keys to the game Yara Halak played really well thought he was good Panarin looked good as well I'm not gonna say Libra Hayek had a bad game I think the whole team defensively had a bad game I still would like to see Jack Jones in the lineup against Anaheim on Monday but defensively, it needed to be better. It's all right. You move on. You work from it. It's a 4-1 to one loss against the Winnipeg Jets. And the Rangers' next game is now Monday. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. Please leave a like down below if you did enjoy this video. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. And I'll see you guys later.